Uh, Andy, what's the main thing you wanted to tell us about today, the, the experience that you've had? Just referring to... The, the, the pain we were talking about. The pain. Mm. Um, I think the, um, the main thing about it is the, um, I think the suddenness of it. The, uh, the onset the, the onset was um, there was no warning sign it was like uh, instant uh, extremely painful and uh, to the point actually on the first occasion where I, I basically I passed out so where were you at the time um, I'd uh, just returned from work I was uh, sitting down on the sofa uh, just having a, like a light snack and um, suddenly felt this stabbing pain in what I thought was my, my left the, in the back on the left side and um, my wife returned a couple of seconds later to find me actually collapsed on the floor Did anything bring it on? Um, I had no inkling it was going to happen at all I had no kind of ache or anything prior to it Completely it out of the blue Completely out of the blue um, I had no difficulty passing water up at that, up at that point either um, now, did anything you do at the time make it worse or better? Could you, like, jiggle yourself into a position that relieved the pain or anything that made it worse, better, anything you could do at the time to moderate the pain? On that first instance, um, absolutely nothing. So it was, like, constant all the time, was it? And, um, well, actually, because I'd, because I'd actually physically collapsed, my wife had actually no. called um, the uh, doctor out um, immediately. So, um, fortunately, when he arrived... Um, I, I, there was just this con I'd kind of woken up by that time um, but there was this constant real pain, stabbing pain that you, there was no relief from you couldn't turn away from it or anything So how and are we going to describe the pain? What's the quality of the pain? Is it like So you said stabbing pain? So It's like if somebody had taken I don't know, a knife and actually it felt like an internal pain and uh, it's almost like shook inside the fact that you, you felt as though you were shaking inside, your whole body kind of uh, reacted to the that onset. So fairly well localized. Yeah, and it was you could almost put your finger on, although it was in, it was definitely inside. So a bit like someone sticking a knife in and causing pain and, inside, and then kind of wiggling it about a bit, so you knew exactly where the pain was coming from. Yeah, and so you, you uh, could actually point to it. Yeah, yeah. And then I said the doctor at that point uh, actually gave me um, an injection, pethidin or something at, the, mm. at that time, and uh, the the relief from that was 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 just incredible. It was like uh, it was like kind of washed over you, the kind of relief, yeah, yeah. and you could, could actually find you could because I was actually um, the pain was so bad that it actually stopped your breathing. Um, so when that thing came, it was actually that kind of f feeling of at last, I can, you know, I can, I can, like, I can breathe actually comfortably. Yeah, so you had a like a stabbing, yeah. localized, agonizing pain, and there yeah. was nothing you could do. To, Absolutely to, nothing to, would take to it away. That at all. Uh, that was at that point, yeah. So sh show me exactly where it was. Where, where, was so that was inside? it was basically in there. But where, so, show me again. So um, it, it basically felt of yeah. it was like. Like two inches in there, if you, uh -huh. if you kind of get those two angles there. Yeah, it was in there. So it was kind of, kind of right inside your your left flank. Mm. Left flank, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And did it radiate anywhere? Did the pain go anywhere? Um, obviously, when the, when the first came, it was so sudden it just seemed to go absolutely everywhere. As I'm saying, even it's like your whole body reacted. The whole to body it. reacted reacted to so it. So you can kind of feel it up and down. Yeah, and, and obviously, you felt I felt as if the uh, uh, my like temperature was changing that kind of f huge effect of like nausea. So your whole feeling hot and system, cold yeah. and everything, that your body kind of went into shock. And faint. Which is what, well actually, I, that's what I said, of that course was, you did. You I did. actually collapsed. And I wasn't yeah. aware I'd collapsed. Mm. It was just like, I was awake, stabbing pain, and within seconds, I was, uh, I found myself on the floor. Yeah. So the pain was so bad, your nervous system basically just shut, shut down, down. Didn't it? severe vasovagal sort of. Yeah. So you, you were out cold? Uh, yeah. And so my wife came back, she thought I'd had a heart attack. She just threw me on the floor. I, I, I think I had a portion of chips or something. So agonising for you and terrifying for her. Terrifying, absolutely terrifying yeah, for her. Yeah. So she called, I think, called doctor and ambulance and said, we need to send me up here. Because but, she, she wouldn't know the history, she just came and nope, found you collapsed. No, well, I said at that point there was no history. I would absolutely no, I'd never, I said, I'd never had a problem with the waterworks, never had localised kidney pain, aches or anything. And I think if I had... 
and I'll probably put it down to um, lower back pain, which I, w- I probably experienced because I used to work as an engineer. Which everyone gets. Anyway. Lifted heavy machinery, yeah. and I thought, oh yeah, I've got an achy back. But this was a completely different. This was magnitude di- of different off the scale. This one was. Right. So talking about severity, Andy, what we normally say is if, if, if zero is no pain at all, and ten is the worst torture yeah. you can possibly <laughs> conceive yeah. of in human experience. You know, what are we talking about? What what sort of level was that pain? Um, I would say it's got to be absolute. Mad. I've never been. I've never yeah. had that much pain where I've actually collapsed. So it's like it was like you can't really imagine. So you can I, th- I think it's, it's it's so high that it's you, be a ten your body just shuts yeah. down. So yeah. you can't imagine any worse no. pain than that. No, I've, yeah. and I've never really experienced anything quite as bad as yeah. that. And when you woke up from this fainty episode, the pain was still there. Yes, like a like in spasms. Almost not like to the to the level of your heartbeat, but it was there was no way to say you couldn't turn away from it. You couldn't try and try and sit comfortably. It seemed to just come when it wanted to come, and, uh, and it was fairly constant. For and a, it was till he got to hospital, and until the uh, well, basically until the pethidine had, had kicked in. So you were in, in this agonising pain for what half an hour, an hour? Um, I think it was like the, it was on the spot pretty quickly. He was he lived the doctor GP okay. lived fairly local, so I think within about twenty minutes there was somebody there, mm. um, and then once I'd, he, they basically set me up for uh, for uh, scans to mm. find out to start investigating to start it, yeah. investigating it. Yeah, but, but then your pain was treated with pethidine. And, and but up until that point, actually, on that on the first occurrence of the of uh, uh, what was what we believed to be a kidney stone? Mm. Um, I was treated with pethidine for for about three weeks, which I took on a. Is this before on, before you had this pain episode or after? This was after. Right. I had the uh, I had pethidine to sort of take uh, on demand um, while I waited for the scan, um, but when I actually went for the scan, about two days before I went for the scan, I knew the stone had gone. You could feel it. Because I, because I, you know, you've, when you physically come to pass a stone like that, the pain is obviously in a different place. Yeah. So, so the pain went from your flank down into your, yeah, into your bladder, into the bladder, and then obviously you passed it, and then, then you managed to wee the stone out. Yeah. How, how big was the stone on it? Didn't didn't actually see it when it went. It was it was cause I think it it obviously kind of sc- scratches its way out. So it was like mm. that kind of as if you'd oh. been nettled almost. Yeah. So it was like a sting this is in pain. In your urethra. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you and you got that pain on a, basically every time you, you you pass water, you know it was you would get it for a couple of days afterwards. Yeah. So, but basically, once once that had passed, I, I, I never had that problem again. And how did this affect your ability to carry on working or anything? Presumably with the pain. Well, with work the, at all. well with the pethid, actually, I still went to work. Cause I don't know, I don't know why, but I took um, I took I was taking pethidin, uh, but I couldn't drive. Um, for obvious reasons, because um, yeah, you get pretty fearless when you're thinking about stuff. <laughs> so, as as regards time in Andy, did did you get the pain after that? How, how long did you have without pain before you had recurrent episodes of this pain? Um, a, a huge amount of time. It was um, after that first instant. I, I'm trying to think of how old it would have been at the time. I would have probably been about twenty four. And um, I, obviously, obviously the, the doc had said, make sure you drink plenty of fluids, etc., etc., etc. Make sure you're going regularly to the to the loo, and then obviously the problem might not occur. Um, and I, it didn't basically. Um, from time to time, I I had what I thought was lower back pain. It was just like an ache more than anything else. Nothing ever. It's bad as that kind of stabbing pain that I had at that instance. Um, so it was when I got to the age of about 58. Wow. Um, when um, I, I suffer from uh, high blood pressure, I've done for a while. Yeah. And because I was getting like a regular checkup to see, um, you know, what, um, how, how the tablets and things were behaving. Um, they discovered that I had uh, blood in my urine, so at that point they said we'll have to in- have to have an investigation. So I think it was a week later they did another test and it was still there. So eventually they said this might be serious. We'll send you up for a scan. Uh, when they 
they did x-rays and um, um, ultrasound and as soon as well, I actually could see it was clear as day there was a, the, basically a stone in my kidney that was something about the size three quarters of an inch so the pain had been like rumbling on but and, and up until the point it was the second time when I went back to the doctor was the only time when I was beginning to feel an uncomfortable ache. Okay, so for all those years, for you all those years, pain. nothing. Or if it, if it had been there, I had always I'd always associate with it's a it's a muscular problem, lower back. But it wasn't bad enough to make you see. Wasn't ba- bad enough to make yeah. me feel. And again, no yeah. no problems in passing water or anything like that. When it first came on, you wouldn't know what the pain was, did you? You know, when you first experienced. Not it. at all. Not at so, all. So did, did that create a lot of anxiety? I mean, what, what did you think it was at the time? Um, I, I hadn't a clue. For, well, it was one of those things because I wasn't sure actually what side. I can never remember what side is your appendix on. Yeah. And I thought, <laughs> well, is that appendix, is it, could it be an appendix yeah. type pain? Um, I, I, I really just didn't have a clue. I knew it was internal and I could, I could almost put my hand on it. But I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't know enough about kind of medical things to sort of say, mm-hmm. oh, this is this area. But you haven't had an episode of pain as bad as that initial one. You've had pain since then, but it's not pain been since as then, bad. and um, particularly when when it came to the thing where they were actually breaking that stone up, and when they had to put a stent in while all those operations stent were going on, yeah. it was uh, that was like incredibly uncomfortable. Um, but that was a kind. Even that pain was different. That was like a constant ache. No, it was nothing stabbing about it. It was more. And was the pain persistent? More, was it more diffuse? More, it I stick? think it was. I think yeah, more diffuse. It, it was more like toothache, it was, and it was general. Another thing about that as well is it moved about, and I think that's something to do with how your nerves are connected. And you had but that, sometimes yeah. I thought I had right kidney pain, but um, it was always associated from right. the same thing. Right, and it was just like a general. I said far from being comfortable. Was it was a it was a really painful ache. And what sort of intensity would that pain be on, on the 0 to 10 scale? On the 0 to 10, uh, I would say constantly about a 7. So to the, pretty to the, bad. Pretty pr- bad. Well, to the point where I was having to take um, like fairly strong painkillers to manage it. And this is for days on end? Um, for days and weeks on end. Um, until you got the lithotriptyl until you I got, to break the stone up. Eventually I had, um, well they tried to do it uh, mechanically first of all, which failed. Then they used... Um, then they used um, a laser, a lithotripsy for that. That managed to break it, um, but still left a lot of fragments in. And then since then, I've had four treatments of shockwave lithotripsy. Two were fairly successful, um, but then about a month after I'd had it, the pain came back. Um, but that was, uh, again, it wasn't high up. That was actually more ureter pain. Yeah. Um, Urethra. Urethra. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that was um, that was basically the tube blocking. In fact, the, the last time I had the shockwave lithotripsy, oh, it was actually, the ureter then. The, the, they were the actually blocking, yeah. treating that directly. Okay. And then now, how are you now? Um, we're reaching a stage where suddenly everything is out of there, but there are still some very small fragments in the upper quadrant of the left kidney. So you're still getting pain from that? Um, hard. There's been the odd bit, actually. I think what's happening is they've, they've given me some um, uh, some medication, tamsulosin or something like that. Actually, to, it's to increase the amount of flow okay. uh, that uh, um, that you get from your bladder anyway. Mm-hmm. And what they're trying to do is basically just try and Washing flush the rest of it out. So I've had one or two occurrences of that kind of, um, you know, that... Kidney pain that you Kale get. seal pain, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stones, but you're drinking gallons of water. Drinking right, gallons yeah. of water to try and flush it. Yeah. And I'm due back in about, I think it's about further two months for more x rays. But it sounds like you might be getting rid of it. I think um, this time. This, certainly, I've, this is the longest I've gone um, like pain free. Mm. And I'm, I'm hoping yeah. that we'll never see one ever again. Absolutely. Let's hope we don't. Thanks very much, Andy. Okay, more than welcome.